Hello, I hope you're having a good event at the Layer 123 Network Automation Show. Uh, my name is Sam Hurrell. I am the CEO and founder of Perpetual Solutions. We are a specialist education provider working in the telecom sector. Uh, today we're going to have a look at the skills challenge in the disaggregated world. What are the problems that we see in the industry associated with a lack of skills um, within the operators uh, and other organizations involved in these projects? So uh, the skills gap. Um, usually when uh, discussing this uh, with uh, colleagues and commentators in the industry, um, we'll find that the skills gap is mentioned as either the first or the second high priority in the barriers to the deployment of um, automated, uh, virtualized, softwareized networks. Uh, there is a big learning gap in the industry and that includes a lack of needed talent and the need for training and retraining of the current personnel. Uh, second uh, challenge that faces uh, the industry is um, a lack of cohesive standardization, a dearth of uh, collaboration outside of specific uh, vendor relationships, um, and a lack of um, uh, solutions that are coherent across the open source ecosystem. However, uh, we're going to uh, concentrate on uh, the HR-based NFE challenges, and in particular, the skill gap. Um, there is a graphic at the bottom here uh, with uh, operators saying that they need to invest more in training staff to manage NFE and SDN infrastructure. And we have 80% agreeing with that premise. So what are we trying to do? Uh, we're in a race for a new network. Um, the telcos need to respond to the challenges that are out there in the industry. And in order to do that, uh, they need an agile, dynamic solution that is ready to compete, ready to get onto the starting grid and get into the race. Um, in the past, uh, the aggregated scenario has been um, the prime example. Uh, this is a very happy picture. Um, you go to your vendor, uh, you pick up your keys, you can drive your car away. Uh, if there's a problem with your car, you take it back to the vendor. Um, everything runs smoothly. However, this solution, this, this, this paradigm uh, costs costs the capex dollars and we're trying to move away from that paradigm. The paradigm we're moving to is the disaggregated scenario and here uh, the operator is responsible for the um, for the, the, the architecting, the engineering, um, the putting together of the complete solution including all of the various kind of components. So a disaggregated scenario uh, requiring a much deeper level of skill and understanding of how to assemble all of the components and uh, the other information that is uh, necessary. Um, even further than this, um, we can say that some of the components you may have are from your legacy network and you want to carry those components with you into the solution that you're going to bring out. You don't want to, to junk that capex spending that you've made on certain parts of your network. Um, you want to carry those with you. You want to be able to automate them and integrate them into your softwareized, virtualized uh, network. So, question is, how? How do we get all of these components into an agile, dynamic solution that is ready to compete on the starting grid? And the answer is, pretty simply, you need a highly skilled team. If you take uh, the teams uh, supporting um, the racing outfits, 
everybody is very highly skilled. Everybody knows their job. Everybody works as a team. Uh, they move as one. Uh, they achieve uh, very complex tasks in short time scales and they keep the project running. So what skills do we need? Well, everybody now is aware that there is um, open source ecosystem. Um, within that e ecosystem, we've got very important projects such as ONAP, OpenStack, Kubernetes, ORAN over here on radio access. Um, lots of very important uh, parts of the ecosystem uh, that you need to get skills um, so that you can deploy into this ecosystem. However, that alone, the understanding of the ecosystem is not enough uh, for a telco operator. Um, they require uh, a knowledge and understanding of the vendor and system integrator uh, custom solutions. Many vendors and systems integrators are working in open source and will contribute uh, work and custom solutions uh, to your project. Uh, but you need your architects and product managers, um, pre-sales engineers, engineers to be aware of those vendor and custom solutions. However, even that is not enough because then what we need to do is we need to understand it from the telco perspective. We need to be able to overlay all of the standardization, uh, the standards, the de facto standards, overlay those onto our open source ecosystem. Standards are important because that is where our use cases that we're deploying on the ground come from. So here we can see that this is the full mix of understanding that we need. We need the open source ecosystem. We need an understanding of what the vendors are doing. Uh, we need a good understanding of the standardization that we're trying to achieve. And this leads to the use cases that we're trying to deploy. NFE, service function chaining, orchestrating SASE with SD-WAN, cloud security and policies, network control using ODL and ONOS, PCP and link state DB for multiple domain MPLS, NFV Mano in OpenStack, automating Cisco routing protocol configuration, orchestration and automation using Ansible playbooks, using Napalm to deploy and automate BGP. So the use cases are the important skills that the people on the ground need to understand. And all of this is built up from this holistic understanding of the whole. So how does that actually look in a skills program uh, for the different role types that we've got? Network engineers, architects, pre-sales engineers, product development, IT infrastructure. You can see here that this is uh, what we do as a business, uh, which is to, to build uh, learning pathways for the different role types in the organization. So we may have network engineering, we may have product development, pre-sales engineering, sales and marketing. There are different packages of training delivering the skills that each role type needs at the level that they need. So say a difference between network engineering and product development might be the network engineers are going to be needing the hands-on labs and we have many hands-on labs built for some of those use cases that we looked at. Um, the product development need more of the standardization, uh, the vendor solutions, uh, the open source ecosystem and then they can take that knowledge along with the knowledge of their own network and the knowledge of their customer, the enterprise's DNA and produce solutions that will be attractive to that customer. Pre-sales engineering, they again need this whole holistic understanding because when they go to 
the customer, the customer will want to ask questions. You know, how do we deploy this with um, open source? How do we uh, deploy use cases coming out of MEF? How do we look at uh, IETF? Um, what are the differences in SD WAN uh, products and services from the competing vendors? You know, give me a compare and contrast so I can make a decision. So, for the pre sales engineers, that's very important uh, knowledge. When they go and have those conversations, they become a trusted advisor if they're having uh, good, deep, uh, useful conversations for the customer, when the customer thinks SD-WAN, they pick up the phone and they call that guy. He is the trusted advisor and you want to put uh, your teams into that position. Um, this whole document is available to download. There's a link at the end of the presentation. Um, when you want to find out more information, uh, you can click on any of the course titles or the certification logos and that will take you to our site and show you the granular level deep modular content of the workshop that you've chosen to uh, click the title of. So who is Perpetual Solutions? Uh, many of you may not have heard of us uh, but we have been around 20 years and uh, Prior to the pandemic, we were doing lots of physical classes at um, uh, locations that we have around the world. Um, since the, the pandemic started now, we're doing lots of uh, self-paced workshops, uh, live virtual remote public classes. Uh, this is one of the classrooms that uh, I'm speaking from at the moment, so you can see how it works. Um, <clears throat> Uh, we deal with uh, operators, uh, vendors, systems integrators, um, uh, any, any people within the industry that need to learn uh, some of these new skills. Um, we are a, a Linux Foundation training partner, so we have lots of training on the open source ecosystem. Uh, we are a MEF training partner and an ONF training partner. And from those uh, three organizations, there are uh, some certifications, vendor neutral certifications uh, that you could uh, study for as part of the workshops. However, the primary goal for us is really to give this holistic understanding and to deliver the skills that the different role types need for their jobs. When you do that, you can cover all of the parts necessary for the certification at the same time. So you're getting uh, the certification and the skills that you need to do the job. Here are some of the customers uh, that we've got. So you'll see uh, many of the names from the industry there. Uh, also some large scale enterprises. Um, This is uh, the virtual classroom that we have. Uh, so um, at the moment you will see only one stream as that's the way that the presentation is working for this layer one, two, three events. However, when we're running the workshops in Zoom, uh, we have this dual screen arrangement where you can see the screen, which I've been writing on uh, during this. And you can also get the video feed, uh, which is what you're seeing right now. Um, here are some screens of some of the labs. So we have labs built in the cloud uh, with VM clusters that you can log into and start to uh, work with some of those use cases that we covered on previous slides. So we're almost at the end of the presentation. So we're trying to get our solution ready. We're trying to get it onto the starting grid. What we don't want to be is this guy. It looks like his car is different to the cars that we've seen on the starting grid. It looks like there's a lot more legacy in there. Um, it may not be fit for purpose. It looks like he doesn't know what he's doing um, there. It may have a lack of skills in trying to get his car fixed. Looks like he's been there quite a long time. And worst of all, the car is non-functioning, uh, which we don't want. And to make matters worse, 
Uh, on top of that, uh, it's getting dark and it may rain. He's going to be in a place that he doesn't want to be in. So this will not get you to the races in time. Uh, so that's the end of uh, uh, the presentation. Um, you can uh, download uh, this presentation from our exhibitor booth at the Layer 123 Network Automation event, um, or uh, you can get it from our own website on uh, this address. Uh, please do uh, share this with colleagues. Um, what we find is that um, some of these skills may already exist in your organization, but uh, often they are siloed into different teams. So there may be teams that you know need to have a, a standardized understanding and get some of the uh, skill and holistic understanding that we've been covering, or maybe do some of the hands-on workshops so they can move quickly and deploy their project. So please do share with your colleagues. Uh, and I can be reached on my email address, uh, sam.hurrell at perpetual-solutions.com. I hope you've enjoyed the presentation and um, look forward to chatting with you about how we can solve uh, your skills gap or bring you your next certification. Thank you very much for listening.